Hey everyone, it's Saturday the 8th of April and it's 9.35 in the evening and in this video we're going to be looking at a quite a large die cast haul as per last video I showed you I had a bag of die cast here but I then remembered I got this lot from a charity shop yesterday <clears throat> so we'll have a look at those as well, I'm just trying not to run over smudge He's right down here. <clears throat> he suddenly got a burst of energy again. Yeah, so quite a few here. It's a mix of, uh, I think it's just Corgi and Matchbox. Anywho, we'll try and get through these as fast as possible. I need this box out that's under here as well. I'll just put these in there out of the way. So I've got some Corgi buses. I think I've got some variations of these already. I'm not sure if I've got that one though. And with some of these, what I've got here will be going in the um, scrap box as well. Possibly those buses if I've got them. I haven't got that one though. So that's a definite keeper. Either that or I'm going to, whatever I don't want, will get chucked in one of the car boot boxes, which are stacked up together into the lounge here. Uh, I've got this little US mail Jeep minus a windscreen, which I've already got, so that might go into, uh, sorry, I've got an itch ear. Yeah, that might go in the uh, for sale box, I don't know yet. Or oh, it could go in a scrap box, actually. Just got a good pair of wheels on it. So if anything, when I start restoring die cast again, I've got a good set of wheels. And I found two of them. these are all 50p each by the way. So I've got two of these. I've got a better idea. Instead of me sliding close to the camera. Let's bring the camera a bit closer and make life a bit easier. So I've got two of these and I know what sort of uh, truck these went to which is why I picked them up because I've actually seen these sell for a, a good price I'll say a few quid at least maybe not that one because that one's quite rough this one's not too bad though I have actually got a complete one of these with the two trailers on the shelf in the bedroom and we've got one of these Someone has painted and then painted the windows black. So I don't really know why I bought that one. Maybe just because it was an old matchbox. And we've got this one, which I think... Yeah, this one has been painted as well. Not a bad job. And at least they haven't painted the windows black on this one. Two of these, I've actually got another one or two of these somewhere else as well. And they've all got the windows missing. And there should be a sticker on that bonnet as well, and that's missing. On both of these. Which I needn't have bothered buying these, and I'll show you why when we get into the bag. <laughs> uh, I've got a couple of uh, Corgi ERF fire tenders, which will go in my uh, scrap box. Because at some point I would actually like to build a scrap diorama using such toys. At some point. Now, I know in a video a while back I was asked if there was any um, uh, die cast models that I just can't resist buying and have, you know, absolutely loads of. Well, that's one of them, the Buick Regal from Corgi. Is that the Junior's model? It is indeed the Corgi Junior's model. I have got a few of these in various colours and liveries and things because I've got police cars, I've got fire, at least one fire chief car, there was taxis. And they did the standard ones, you know, civilian ones, in all sorts of different colours. 
and they changed the color of the interiors as well some have got gray and the windows actually the window tint uh, some that had yellow window tint some had um, just a clear one like that um, some had like a chrome interior some had the dark gray which i believe that one's got just loads there's another one which i'm assuming was painted by the same person not a bad job. I actually think the black windows suit this one. So I'll probably keep that one in the collection. Yeah, it is an old super fast though. It's got the super fast wheels on it. It's something I bought just for the scrap box. Just because it's got a good set of wheels on it. Because I haven't restored any of these regular wheels ones. Um, at all yet. I've done super fast. Actually I may have done one or two with regular wheels, I can't remember. I've avoided it because they're a pain in the ass to take the wheels off. You've got to try and grind off the um, end of the axle. And on some of them you don't get a lot of room to do that with. And if the axle's rotten anyway and you've got to replace it, then you just cut them off. But, but uh, you know, those ones are actually salvageable, so. There's a corgi portion that I didn't have and got one with all the shell markings on. So that's a keeper. Jaguar XJS police car. I've got a few of these, and none of them are in actually great condition. They're all in shite condition, like this one. I mean, I, I didn't notice at the time, but when I got it home, it's missing an A-pillar. You see that, it's missing one of the A-pillars. But the glass is in good condition, so I could actually drill the rivets on this one and put the glass in another one I got, which is broken. So, <laughs> I could potentially make a half-decent one out of the two. Or three, or four, however many of them I've got. There's another... Leyland BP tanker. I say another because I have got several of these. I want to restore at least one. I might do some customs with the other ones. But they're all in various conditions, which is why I got them, because I can mix and match any decent parts that I can find. You know, to at least make a good restored one. And once I left, I could probably do a custom or something. Probably do a shell one. And then we've got Another, which will probably end up in the um, scrap box because it's missing a pair of wheels. Another Bedford TK tanker. And no interior. I've actually got about four or five of these now and there's only one that has the interior. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Most of these seem to have the interior missing. Yeah, that'll probably go in the scrap box. This one I wasn't sure if I had on the shelf or not. I did that. And actually, I might have taken these off the shelf when I was rearranging the corgi shelf. I can't remember if I had one in orange and black, so I need to check that. If I have, it's 50p. I'll just throw it in the 50p box for the car boot and probably get my money back. Uh, and I've got this escaping one. Should we try that again? That's, I think that's the second one in this pink colour I've got. Lotus Europa, I think that is. Europa, yeah. They did it in blue as well. This, I've got another one in a box over there. And I think this one is actually the better of the two. That one's in uh, not bad condition at all. I've got a red Range Rover here. I did a police version of this. I'm assuming that is meant to be the fire version, but it's lost all its stickers and everything. It is in half decent condition. The wheels go around fine, which means the um, suspension bits there haven't snapped. Because I will say that for some of these corgis, these suspension bits are crap and they break regularly. You know what kids are like, they push down on them. We all did it. I did it when I was a kid. I mean, you push down on them too hard. As a kid, you don't know any different, do you? You just play, that's it, so. 
I find quite a few of those broken. I've got a uh, Fiat here from Corgi. Corgi Juniors again, a little Fiat. Got a few variations of this, but not this green one. So that's a definite keeper. Porsche from Corgi. I've got this one in black, but I didn't have it in white, which is why I went for this one. So I got it in both colours. I don't know if they did any more colours. I've actually just realised I'm missing a van. Not to worry. Here's another one that I bought most likely to go in the uh, scrap box. I've got a few of these now and they're all missing the bloody window and I've even got one in yellow. Also missing the window. Mint paintwork missing the bloody window. But at least this has got doors and wheels on it and a good interior so it's got some some good spares with it at least. Here's another one that I've got at least one more of but the, the plastic bars here that would hold I think pipes on this one they're bent inwards which is why I bought this one because they're laying nice and flat so it's actually in reasonable condition I might see if I can find some repro pipes or something to put on that one wouldn't be hard to restore it though the wheels are in good condition there's only three rivets on the bottom the plastic base is actually in good condition. It wouldn't be hard to take that apart, respray it, and put it back together again. And just tidy up the wheel hubs with a chrome paint pen. Corgi, Volvo Estate. <clears throat> I don't know why I said Corgi like that. Corgi. Um, I've got a couple of these in white and cream, but I don't believe I had the green one, so. It's cool. Yeah, it's Corgi. It's not in bad condition either. Got a matchbox truck here, not in bad condition either. I'm going by that, I think that's quite an early one. The hitch bit, I mean. That's, yeah, I think that's an early style. Nineteen, it's either seventy-one or seventy-two. So yeah, I was right. That is an earlier one. Not in bad condition for its age. It's definitely worth leaving as it is. I have actually got a trailer that will go on that. And lastly, because there's actually two more and I can't find them. There's a Corgi Jeep that someone's painted. And one of these vans in white with um, Summerfield written down it, which is an old UK supermarket that no longer exists. They got bought out. So I've got a Coca-Cola one. And like I said, somewhere... It should be down here, right by my feet, because that's where I threw all of these uh, charity shop ones uh, last night, and I can't find it. I can't see it. It's not going to be hard to miss a white van like that laying on the floor, is it? I don't know where the Corgi Jeep went. I think I actually accidentally kicked it across the floor, so it could be under the sofas. But there's the Summerfield one. I have actually got the um, large model transit van um, with Summerfield on as well. That's in the bedroom. Like I said Summerfield is an old supermarket that no longer exists. I think, but I'm not 100% sure, but I think Sainsbury's bought those out. Because we had a Summerfield here in town. But it's sort of like around the um, early 2000s, I think Sainsbury's took it over and opened up. And then built a big old extension onto it and whatnot. Oh yeah, I'll show you my uh, dump finds as well. Because uh, last weekend, me and my stepdad um, took two trailer loads of crap down the dump. Just stuff that had been collected up over the last few months, since last year actually. And uh, in, here in Norfolk, some recycling centres, we just call them the dump, we always have, um, pardon me, have a reuse shop. And this particular one has a reuse shop. So on the first trip, I didn't go in. I just um, bought three bicycles and a bike trailer for 15 quid. The lot. <laughs> They're over at Mum's. And seriously, one of those bikes 
all I've done so far is pump the tyres up, which I seem to be holding there, put a bit of um, lubricant down a couple of the cables, and then found out when I went to ride it, the chain was worn out because it slipped. I've checked the chain rings, teeth on those are fine. The uh, free wheel on the wheel, on the back wheel, the gears on the back wheel, teeth look absolutely fine on them. In fact, it looks like a brand new free wheel. So, Monday, I'm going to go and buy a brand new chain for it. The bike's a bit big for me, but I do like how it rides. Um, it's an old rally, that's why I bought it. It's a 19, I'm pretty certain from the funky purple little and pinky colour it is and yellow that it's got to be 1980s just from them colours <laughs> but anyway on the second trip I actually went into the shop and I found now he charged me three quid for all of this these these are always handy to have I've actually bought them home but I I don't know if they would actually be more use over in the shed at Mum's. Anyway, um, there's also a plastic bag which had a brand new gel seat for a bicycle in it. And a pair of good pedals. And these. I've got a Pontiac Trans Am from Matchbox. A little ambulance. And a Mark 1 Ford Transit van. And Corgi actually did one of these in blue. I've actually got a couple of them. One of them's missing the back door. Um, and this is just basically a copy of the Corgi one. It's not an actual Corgi, it's just a copy. It's not a bad copy though. I like it. And I've been after one of these in good condition for a while and I've actually found one. And like I said, I'll just charge three quid for the lot. So. There's a couple of uh, large models that I wanted to show as well. I got from uh, my die, um, die cast guy last weekend. Ah, there you go. There's actually three I'm going to show you. Got a nice dinky, I don't know if it's a Leyland or an AEC, I don't know how to tell the difference with the cabs, but they look very, very similar. Um, it's a dinky. Merryweather fire engine, rear axle is a bit bent, but the base on this screws on, so potentially I could take the base off. And just, I'm hoping I can get a pair of pliers on there and just straighten that axle out. But this one is actually quite uh, unique, I'll say, in the sense that it's still got the ladder, and under here, it's still got the hose. And this is a functioning fire engine. In the sense that it does actually squirt water, if I can get the ladder off out of the way for a minute. You've got a little cap here that you can lift up and you fill that with water. Pull the hose out of the, the um, storage locker here. Press that button and you will actually um, squirt water. Let's see if I can get the ladder to go back in. I haven't actually figured out that ladder is actually meant to sit over the top of that or if it's meant to go under there like I think it, I can see a couple of notches there so I think it's actually meant to go like that and I'm assuming it would go that way round I can't see it going this way round no I don't know, it's on there. So that's another dinky to the dinky collection. Now I do believe, I did say at the beginning of the year I want to add more dinkies to the collection. Anywho, here's another one. Quite a lovely little Rolls Royce. Which is also dinky, which I nearly dropped on the floor. I've got Butterfingers tonight, haven't I? I'm too excited to show you the die cast. That's quite nice, I like that. No, I'm not going to put it in that box. And another one I got from 
diecast guy is this little uh, Corgi NSU. And um, he was telling me that apparently this version of it is quite rare. And this is actually in mint condition. Um, apparently, because the purple ones with the black bonnet are actually the most popular colour, um, apparently for every a thousand one of those they made, they made one of these. And I actually quite like the car. Never ever seen one in real life. If I have, I probably wouldn't have recognised it. I knew what it was. <laughs> and uh, like I said, that one is actually in mint condition, so that's why I bought that one from him. Right. We're finally on to the bag. Now, um, he sent me a message. I think it was about 6 o'clock this evening on Facebook with a photo of a box with most of these in. Not all of them, but most of them. Um, just asking if I wanted to buy these before um, you know, he took them to the car boot next weekend. I actually think he was going to... No, he was going to do a car boot tomorrow over at um, not a town about 8 miles from his Stalham. Um... Which if I actually didn't have other plans for tomorrow, like going over to Bums, I would have gone there as well. I've gone there instead, I should have said. Uh, anyway. And I said, yeah, I'll take them, because I could see a few in the photo that I actually wanted for the collection. So, uh, yep, I've got a bag full of it. There is some duplicates in here. But there is quite a few in here that I haven't got, and quite a few in here. I'll say quite a few. There's a few in here that will probably end up in the uh, scrapyard box as well. Because um, when I got there, there was a load of these um, already in the bag that you hadn't actually photographed. And I don't think it was a bad deal for 30 quid. Like I said, there are some nice models in there, and there's quite a few of these I'm definitely keeping. Actually, a number of these I haven't got. Right, so what have we got? I do believe I've actually got this bulldozer again, minus the tracks. I think. The more I think about it, though, I think I've got this, you know, the small version, not the large version, but I'll have to double check the box. Um, I've got a few of these cranes, in fact I've got two of these on the shelf with the hooks. This one's missing its hook. But there is two versions. There's one with the red counterweight on the bottom here. There's one which is it's all yellow. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that one. It just needs a hook really, doesn't it? Yeah, I've got two of these on the shelf over there. Oops little me box closed all by itself all right now I do like collecting the old huskies and uh, some of them can be quite expensive on eBay so we've got this Oldsmobile which I don't have in my husky collection This one is a later Husky, sort of when Corgi was taken over Husky. It's an NSU. And to be honest, I think this Husky version of it is better than the Corgi version. It's just... I don't... No, it's just... The Corgi version that actually looks like it's higher, like his wheels are higher. To me, it doesn't make it look like a proper car, but that one, the wheels look like they sit more realistically, if that makes sense. Still got the opening hood. Can't see anything else that's changed apart from the wheels. The bases look exactly the same. No, oh no, there is a slight difference in the bases. Let me just show you. There's a difference. See that? 
That might be why the wheels sit differently because Cool Gear obviously put a different base on it. So yeah, nice one from the Husky collection. I'm not checking that one in the box. I have got a couple of these with the engine and one in a different colour. So that one will end up... I'm going to put the ones that I definitely want to put in the setting boxes to one side. Like that one. Uh, same with this one because I've got this as well and in way better condition so that's another one that can go in the box and match box. Ooh, this one can't though. He's right, there is some nice models in here. Definitely worth the 30 quid I think. That is in nice condition, I like that. In fact it's in such nice condition I don't really want to put it in that box. I'm going to put it there instead. What have we got? A little Jeep minus its windshield, but it's got all four tyres. So for that reason it's worth keeping. Because <laughs> usually these Jeeps lose the bloody wheels. Or any Matchbox cars that had those tyres always get lost. They always fall off. Ah, it's a major red. Little Fiat 127. That's one that caught my eye in the photo. So it's got a little dog's head sticking out the side there. Yeah, it's a little Fiat 127. I love these older major reds. Absolutely love those. Uh, I've got several of these, they all need restos, so I think that one can go in for sale box. Ah, I've got another Husky here. Can't remember what the truck's called though. Now, I have got it in red, but my other red ones, they don't have a load in the top. And the only other one I've got with a load is a blue one. So, I'm guessing Husky did that in two different versions then. I've also noticed over here we've got one yellow and I haven't got the yellow. Well, you see that? I haven't got the load. Either that or have some of these lost the load that went in the top there. Is that why it's missing? No, I'm not sure. Maybe they all actually had the load and it's just got lost on some of them. Either way, I haven't got a yellow one. Why is this bright pink? I don't think that's the original colour. <laughs> and it's got bent wheels, so that may end up in my uh, scrap box. Mercedes truck. I have got a couple of these already, so I don't need that one. Oh, two different ones of these. Now that one's not in bad condition either. I don't know if these beetles. I've got both of these beetles, but I don't know if one. You know, they'd be worth eBaying as they are, or if I should just put them in a car boot box. Perhaps keep them, it wouldn't hurt having a spare one, would it? Having a couple in the collection. I might, I'm going to put them in this box because I, I can't decide at the minute what I want to do with those. Ooh. That's the third one of these I've got. But, it's missing a bloody tyre. But the other one of the, I've got three. One of them is identical to this one, with the black tyres. I've got another one with grey tyres. The other one with black tyres has got damaged windows. So I think I'll find the other one up and just put one of the tyres on this one and have a complete one. It might not be in mint condition. Ooh. The mixer still goes round. It's like a um, king size version of the Rollomatics.
they did. Sweet. Yes, all we need to do is just stick a tire on that. And then the other one can just be used as parts. <sighs> that is in not too bad condition as well, but it's just missing a bloody engine. I might actually have a crappy one I could steal the engine from, actually. And then just make up a decent one, just glue it in there. This is another one that actually caught my eye and why I wanted the box. And that regular wheels Mark II Ford Cortina from Matchbox. Or Lesney as I think they were going by back then, but everybody calls them Matchbox. Because <laughs> they actually used to ship these in little Matchboxes, hence the name. Yeah, that is. The only other one I've got, I've got a shell, which is damaged. <laughs> Um, and one that I restored, which actually has the super fast wheels on, not the regular wheels. When I saw this in the photo, I thought, I've got to have that box for that. That was one of them. Uh, well, I wasn't expecting that. It's two of them. <laughs> one's in better condition than the other. That one's actually in better condition. This one. Holy crap. Oh! And they've got, I didn't realise that. They've got wheels of steel. Look at that. <laughs> it was worth it for that. Ah, another husky. Yeah, that's a later husky as well. Fire Chief uh, Jaguar. But I, I actually haven't got this one, so that can go in my box of huskies. You know, what's this? An RAF boat, rescue boat. It's a dinky. Ah. Our um, air sea rescue launch is what it's got written on the bottom. Cool. I'm not really into boats, but that'll stay in the collection. We've got to hide that mystery son of a Oh uh, no, I just found another one that's got to go in the scrap pile. <laughs> Another refrigeration truck. What is wrong with my hands tonight? I don't know how many I've now dropped. It's missing its back door though, but it's got cracked windows and I'll probably go in the uh, in the scrapyard we'll call it. Because it's got a good set of wheels on it, so I could use it to restore another one. What else have we got? I'm pretty certain I've got this. I'm going to double check before I chuck this in the uh, for sale pile. In fact, I will put it in the for sale pile because I'm pretty certain I have got it. Earth. It's Matchbox. <laughs> Look at that. I'm guessing it's a stunt plane. It looks like it's missing its propeller. Wild wind. My big magnifying glass was kicking around this general area and I can't can't find it at the minute. Oh well. That's interesting. I know Matchbox did a series of planes once upon a time, uh, but I can't remember what they called them now. They did a series of boats, which are called the Sea Kings. The lorries were the convoys. I can't remember what they called the planes, but I have got a few of them. Look, I think I just found a tyre for that cement truck. I think all that I had did was fall off. Is that the one? 
It is awesome. I'm actually going to keep this up because I want to put it with all the other older Matchbox trucks that I've got on display there. If I can find room over there. And that's if I haven't decided to glue those wheels on because I've done that on quite a few of the models because they kept falling off. You know, as they've got older, they've sort of expanded a bit so they don't quite fit on the wheels snugly. So I just stick a bit of super glue on them because otherwise they fall off and that just annoys the heck out of me. Every time you move them, they'll fall off. Not on all of them, I have got some where they are still, you know, on there nice and solid. Oh, that's a shame. Some matchbox models of yesteryear. It's missing the interior. I think what I'll do with that one, because I've got another couple like this in a box through there. I'm going to put it on eBay with a job lot. I did that once before with some of these larger matchbox models. Quite a mix and it did sell. So that's probably what I'll do with that one. Matchbox chopper. New to the collection, because I haven't got this one. I just realised it's got a V8 under it. Noise. I just realised it's a trike as well. <laughs> it's got. It took me all this time to realise I was holding two wheels at the back there. I must be getting tired. Oh, it's gone ten o'clock. <sighs> Unfortunately. That one's had something drop on top of it, so that's going to go in the scrap box. I'm sure the windows actually look, surprisingly, like they're undamaged. They've just got squished down, but they don't look cracked. The wheels look okay. You might be able to steal the axles off of them. That one actually might be very close to the right scale for um, OO gauge model railways. So if you want to do like a little scrapyard on one of them, you could actually hide that in there. I, th I don't think it would look too out of place. It's not a racing car I've got. I have now. And a lot of these racing cars I come across you can see it with the front wheel, they're bent. <laughs> Every time I come across them, they're bent. And for some reason, the, the um, axles that Matchbox used are not easy to bend back, at least not when you've got the wheels on like that, because the axle just spin round in the wheel. I think that's Matchbox. No, it's just got, yeah, Matchbox Lesney. I can't quite see the copyright date on it. Oh, yes I can, 1970. You know, it's not a favourite of mine to collect race cars like that, but it's an old matchbox, so it stays in the collection. I'm going to say that one. Now, you remember I showed you two yellow cars that I got from the charity shop, both missing the windshield and the uh, sticker on the front? I don't need to worry about them because this is in the bag. <laughs> a complete one. Brilliant. I think I can actually get rid of all the other ones as well because I've now got the complete one. <laughs> What's this one? Ah, oh, it's a little Corgi Rockets. As you can take the wheel base off. I don't know what the point of that was, but you can do it. And I've got quite a few different Corgi Rockets. Just I didn't have this one. Uh, that one I'm going to put in the full sale box because I've got a few of these. And the others are in way better condition. Pardon me. And that one. And a couple of other race cars here. Who are these made by? Oh, Z Zilmax. Ooh, that one's got quite seriously bent wheels. I haven't got very many Zilmax models, and oh, that one's got bent wheels as well. 
I might though be able to get in there and just try and straighten that out. Because I think they use the same sort of metal that uh, Matchbox used on there. See that's what they do, look, they just move around, they don't actually straighten out. What you'd need to is at least get like a couple of needle nose pliers on either end and then bend them. Obviously they can be bent because they're bent. <laughs> Right, what else have we got in here? Uh, that's another one that can go in the for sale box because I've got a couple of these already. One in great condition, I'm not going to say mint, but it's in great condition, original condition. And one that I've actually taken apart and repainted and restored, so... Do need that one. Combine Halfstone, I've got a few of these, but this one actually looks like it's a different shade of red. It doesn't look um, the same shade as my other ones. And it's got both um, tyres on it. It's worth keeping just for the tyres. I'm going to compare that to my other ones, because I'm pretty certain that's a darker shade of red. Uh, I've got this one as well. Another Corgi. Corgi Rockets. Yeah. Yeah, I've got that one. Uh, my third one of these, I've got one. Oh, so I really have got butterfingers tonight, haven't I? My stepdad restored one of these and put all the, um, you know, the stripes on the blade and whatnot. I don't know if I've actually worn off if they actually did a version of this without the red and white stripes on it. But I've actually got a couple of these now. Like that. I think I've got one with the plow snapped off as well. But I just can't help myself but to keep models that I come across that I've got these regular wheels on. I just like these oldie ones. I could have like a hundred of these and I'd still keep them <laughs> for some I don't know why. I don't need it. I said I've already got like a couple of them, so... Oh. You've got a... I um... don't even know this existed. It'd be nice if I could get some tracks for it, but my little... Uh tracked loader there from Lesney. I've actually not seen that one before. Even um, the chap was saying he'd never seen one of these ones before. Uh, that one I'm going to put in the for sale box because I've got that one. It's got one of the fins broken on the fans. It's another Rollomatic so you roll these back wheels and these fans will rotate. Like I said, I've got a couple of them. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one. So I have... I think I'm going to put this with the other... Um, similar scale matchbox on a, in a job lot and put it on eBay. Because I've actually got this and it's in complete condition. It's not as damaged as this one. Or I suppose I could keep it just for spare, a bit of fluff or something just flew off of it. I've also got the... Oh. <laughs> that's been in the wars a little bit, look at that. Yeah, I think that's going to go in the um, job lot. I'll put on the back. Right, we have three left, so I'm just going to grab those and get rid of that carry bag. Alright. So we've got another Corgi Whiz Wheels here, Corgi Junior's Whiz Wheels. I think I have got that. I'm not 100% certain, so I'm just going to throw that in the box down here. If I have, I can always chuck it in with all the stuff to sell on. I've now got my third Impala Taxi. I say third because I can't remember if the other one's actually got the taxi sign on the front or not. I've actually got one of these that my stepdad restored as well. And he colour matched it. And the last one is that one. Now I have got a few of these in various conditions, some a hell of a lot worse than this. They've all got the baggage missing from the roof. So the fact that this one is in pretty good original condition. It's not been painted or anything. It's as it was from the factory, at least colour-wise. 
not condition wise but colour wise and it's still got that on the roof I'm going to leave that as it is in fact I'm going to put this one on display and my other regular wheels over there I've got on the back of one of the transports because none of, I don't think any of the other ones I've got have still got that on the roof anyway that is it um, apart from one more thing, which isn't die cast related, but I want to show it anyway because I think I've got a good deal here. Let's see if I can just close that end up for a minute. So, Browsing Marketplace again. Um, and I found this being sold for 60 quid. Lego Technic Porsche 911 RSR. Right? Now this is still available from Lego, they haven't retired it yet, you can still buy it brand new for 170 quid. And I have looked in this, it does look like everything is there, look, I mean I've gone to the effort to bag everything up quite nicely. So yeah, I didn't buy this new, it is used. Um, and been pre-assembled. But yeah, everything is nicely bagged up in Ziploc bags, the... the um, Instruction manuals in great condition. Boxes in great condition. Not that I'm ever worried about boxes. I've just realised Lego has designed this box. So you can um, reseal it. Like that. Lego knows that collectors keep the boxes. I bet that's why they did that. I'll give you some specs of the real things there. It weighs, two, the real car weighs 2,740 pounds, which is 1.243 kilos, or 1,243 kilos, which is almost a ton and a quarter, I think. Water-cooled six-cylinder boxer engine. 510 horsepower. I like how to put a picture of a horse's head on here. And then put 510 beside it. You know, I think only car guys might get that. I could be wrong, but that seems like something only car guys would understand. 510 horses. Yeah, I'm getting more into this kind of thing now with Lego than I am Lego City. I just, you know, Lego City had been my favourite thing for years. And then the last couple of years, they changed their direction. Because they do that every now and again, you know, they change things up. And I'm just, I'm not fond of it. It's not bad. You know, in fact, I think it's absolutely great for kids, which is what it's aimed at. Um... Yeah, just for me, I'm just not fond of it. There's a few sets that I'll buy, but more so, I'm getting into like the Technic vehicles like that. That's what I want to collect. Um, and the Speed Champion sets. Anywho. <laughs> Another box full. Put these two in the top. Put these in the top as well. I think I'll lay that dinky roller in here. I'm not going to put the Corgi NSU in there though. There we go. Actually, in fact, I've got some more that could go in there. I showed these a few videos ago. I've got this little pallet here. Got a few, uh, quite a few nice ones in here actually. Oh, there's my other taxi. It's in better condition than the other one that I just got. There's another taxi. So, it doesn't mean I've actually got four taxis now. Or is that taxi I just picked up the one that came with today's bundle? 
the other one should be sitting on the top and I can't find it, so this one must be the one that came with the bundle. With the bundle. Well, I didn't know that. There's variations of that. I'm glad I looked. You see the difference? If you guessed interiors, you'd be absolutely correct. That one's got a red interior. That one's got like a, a creamy beige interior. And it could just be age, but the yellows, um, the yellow colour looks slightly different. I mean, that one could have just faded from age. That one's actually got a nice supporting um, bottom on it as well. Ooh. So they did very well. That's what we've got to watch out for. You know. Because might, they may release the model like the following year and just change something like the interior colour or something subtle like that. Matchbox bus there. Right. <laughs> got some Hot Wheels in here as well, and some more Majorettes. Oh, this is another one I got thrown in for free when I got that dinky fire engine. And Rolls Royce and uh, the NSU, those are free. There's one more this size, and I cannot remember what it was. Yeah, I did get another one from him that sort of scale, and I cannot remember for the life of me what it was. I think, as this box is nearly full, I will now put the NSU in the top here, gently. Put my dinky boat in there, close the lid, and put that with everything else to be sorted. In fact, I've got four boxes about this big. Actually, there's one on the floor slightly larger than this. Um, just absolutely chock full of cars to be sawed. What I want to do is get a plastic storage tub from um, QDs and put all of my regular wheels that aren't on display in that. Because I've got a tub of them under the bed, but it's full. <laughs> I've now got loads more to add to it, so yeah. Anyway, let's just knock some of these cars off of here. There we go. That can go down there. That can go in the bin. And I'm going to end the video here because I'm getting tired now. <laughs> Two videos in one evening. Uh, yeah, so thanks a lot for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know I do have uh, uh, some followers that like the die cast stuff. I have actually got a couple of laptops that I want to show you at some point. I picked them or I got them a couple of weeks ago. A friend of mine uh, brought them over to me. So I do want to show you those. Um, and there's a bunch of other stuff I want to talk about so at some point I'll be doing another video. Just not tonight. I'm too tired now. Anywho, as I was saying, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a, th uh, a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give me a thumbs down. And uh, as always, I'm going to leave links to my other two YouTube channels. If you like gaming, then go and check out English Gamer 38. And if you actually like the Lego stuff, I've got a channel for that, the Brick Nut 30. Feel free to go and check those out. Like I said, I'm going to leave links in the description. And there will also be a link to the Discord server, which uh, not only did I set up for like friends and family, but I set it up for all three YouTube channels as well. It's all just it's got a mix of uh, um, chat channels on my Discord server. You know, I've got channels that cover for the Lego, channels that cover for the diecast, channels that cover just about everything else. <laughs> or you can just throw it all in the general chat. I don't care. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.